buildings talk, and when you understand what they're saying, you can do a lot with that information. Like reducing your energy costs and carbon emissions, ensuring that your occupants are comfortable, and making a positive impact on the world around them. To understand how a building communicates, let's look at how people communicate. First, we need a common language. In building speak, this is called the protocol. Then, we need to decide where to speak. Right now, I'm speaking in a video, the medium. The last consideration is how to move our message to our audience. This video could go on our website, on YouTube, on cable TV, or any combination of vehicles. In the language of buildings, this is called the topology. All of a building's communication takes place within its Equipment Controllers and Automation System, or BAS. So, when you're designing your building's control system, you'll be making decisions regarding which protocol, medium, and topology will be best for your equipment, controls network, and your business goals. Let's take a closer look at a building's language. These are the most common. When we think about where your building will communicate, the medium, we'll look for the best way to transport building data. Essentially, it comes down to one big question. Wired or wireless? I'll explain more about these options in a bit. Finally, there's how to move the message, the topology. And here's where it starts to get complex. Devices in a building can be linked through a wired daisy chain, or in a ring, or directly wired into a bus. The wireless options? There's standard point-to-point -point Wi-Fi, or a self-healing mesh. A mesh can fix itself if a connection problem arises. So your equipment controls network could be designed from any combination of protocols, mediums, and topologies. How do you put it all together in a way that works best? Well, the first decision you'll need to make is choosing the protocol because it will guide everything else. At Train, we prefer BACnet. BACnet is an open protocol that's the industry standard and allows us to integrate all systems, both train and non-train, into a building automation system. BACnet can run on a wired or wireless medium. One wired option is BACnet over MSTP. Here, your HVAC provider pulls wire between equipment controllers to create an HVAC network. Consider this when you want something low risk that's commonly used in the market, or if your budget calls for a lower cost option. Another wired option is BACnet over IP. This uses the same wired ethernet network that may already exist in your building for your computers. Choose this medium when you need high speed data flow or you're going to need anytime, anywhere access to your network through the cloud. For wireless connectivity, Train offers AirFi Wireless. AirFi runs BACnet protocols over a Zigbee self-healing mesh. This is a great option if you're in an existing building and can't easily modify wires. Also, with AirFi Wireless, there are redundant communication paths, increasing network reliability. Getting your building set up to communicate with you can be complex, but it doesn't have to be. Train can help you create a customized mix of protocols and topologies to give you exactly what you need. We'll create a plan that balances cost, reliability, speed, and performance. We'll work with you to make sure your network can grow and change as your needs evolve. If you're ready to benefit from everything your building has to say, talk to your train account manager today.